Hi, today I'm going to talk about how we're going to build the gaming app on AWS. So in terms of the architecture, it's pretty much similar. So you're going to have the VPC, right? Inside the VPC, you're going to have multiple availability zones. And inside each of the availability zones, they're going to have uh, the application in multiple tiers. So you're going to have the web tiers, the app tiers, right? the caching tiers, and also the DB tiers. Right, so in terms of a DB tiers inside of it, you can use uh, the SQL, which is for example a roller together with multiple re replicas. And in terms of the no SQL, you can use a Dynamo DB, basically serve as a key value pair store. And in terms of the long term storage, that you can use for example Amazon S3. And in terms of the CDN, you can use uh, the Amazon CloudFront to cache some of the static content and even the dynamic content, which I'll mention later. And in terms of the load balancing, it's pretty uh, standard. You can use Elastic Load Balancer, serving as a layer 4 and layer 7 a load balancer. Right? In terms of the notification, that you can select the AWS SNS. Right? So this is pretty much of it in terms of the architecture. And now, let's uh, dig into some of the specific use cases. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to talk about the dynamic content caching. So usually, we only consider the CDN for a static content caching. For example, the images, the, for example, the files, the music files, and etc. However, how are we going to uh, cache a dynamic content and what is necessary? Because the dynamic content is usually from a database. Right. So, in order to interact with the database, you're going to send uh, the actions or the queries similar to CRUD. Right. So, normally, the CDN node is not able to digest or interpret the CRUD kind request. So, that's why over here, in order to interpret the complicated request like this, we're going to put a lambda edge Right, that is sitting right next to the CDN nodes in order for it to interpret it. Right, so from the lambda edge, right, you, you know that the CRUD it can be easily interpreted. Then you can send the query to DynamoDB. Right, so inside the DynamoDB, that you're going to retrieve uh, where exactly the content is. For example, inside the DynamoDB, you're going to point the CloudFront to this location, which is the Amazon S3 cloud storage that is sitting right next to the CDN nodes closer to user, right? So over here, from the DynamoDB, we just want to retrieve the, the location information right, of the particular file. And where that particular file is stored is actually right next to the CDN nodes, right? So basically, this is how it works. So eventually, from the user perspective, even though it's a dynamic content retrieval, it's going to be really, really fast because of we add the Lambda Edge right next to the CDN nodes to interpret that kind of a complicated request. The next one is about the real-time messaging use cases. So for example, you have a gaming client you have two different tasks to do. First of all, is to do the chat, right? So when a user is sending a chat message to another user, it's not sent directly, right? It's stored temporarily onto a cache, right? So the other user, once he's online, you will be able to retrieve from the particular cache. Right, using, for example, the pub sub, the kind of uh, uh, format, right, or the kind of uh, um, mechanism. And the other task is to know whether the particular user is online, right? So basically, you're going to like perform a service discovery, then you're going to check whether the particular user is online. So before that, once the user is online, so you're going to change the value that is inside the radius of his own profile. So for example, I change from 0 to 1, uh, that means that, okay, I'm online, right? So and 
my status was going to be stored as a sort of a value inside Redis. So when the other user is querying it, then he know that, oh, his uh, status value is not zero, it's one, means it's online. So that's, that's why on his like, gaming client, uh, I, it, I mean, I myself is going to show as online. So this is uh, why you can see, okay, the other user is on online status. So basically that explains uh, the real-time messaging use cases uh, and uh, hope uh, that's helpful. Thank you very much.